All right, now that the US Open is done for the year, we can finally go through my predictions. And I gotta be honest, I'm not too mad at these predictions. I actually did pretty well. Considering that uh, it was pretty random US Open, there was a lot of upsets, especially in the first week. Let's have a look at my predictions. So we're starting with Sviantek versus Sabalenka, or Sviantek and Sabalenka, the one and two in the world. I'm gonna go with Sabalenka to do better here. All right, good start. Sabalenka did do better than Sviantek. Sviantek, of course, made the quarterfinals, lost to Begula, and Sabalenka won the whole thing. So you can't do much better than that. That's one. So the qualifiers, we're going back to the old format. I'm gonna go Diallo, the Canadian. He had a pretty good quality draw. And Roddy and Nova, same thing. Had a really good quality campaign. <laughs> So Diallo did do well. He actually made the third round and took Tommy Paul to the four setters. Very close four setter. Roddy Nova lost in the first round, so that wasn't great. But I should have picked maybe Ruse, who made it into the third round. Almost made the fourth round. Had match points to make fourth round. But I got one right, so I'll take one. So having a look at who's going to do the best in the country or the best at the US Open, I'm going to go to the USA because it's just easy to pick the USA. All right, and they did do well. They did very well. Both in the final, we had Fritz and Pagula in the final. We had multiple semi-final and quarter-final players going the distance. It was so good. Not to mention all the players that just won the first and second round. So America dominated this US Open on both the men and women's side. So the most aces, and again, I'm going to pick the obvious ones. I'm going to go with Sabalenka on the women's side. And I'm going to go with Zverev. I reckon Zverev has a decent draw and could capitalize. All right, so I wasn't far off. Sabalenka had the second most aces. Zhang hit the most aces. She dominated, hit 54 aces. Sabalenka just didn't get as many aces as I expected. And Zhang actually, I think, hit 20 aces in one of her matches. So incredible serving by her. And on the men's side, it was Fritz. He got 85 aces. Zverev wasn't far behind. He was only nine aces behind at the equal second at 76. So I was close. So this is an interesting one. I'm going to go with Sinner in this one to do slightly better than Djokovic. So, yeah, he did slightly better. He won the whole thing, and Djokovic lost in the third round. Now, I didn't think Djokovic was lose that early. That, I think that was the biggest shock, right? I, mean, I think a lot of people think that. Sinner winning the tournament, though, I mean, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but he did do better than Djokovic, so I'll take the point. So the players that I think are going to go on an unseated run, I'm going to go with Mukova. And also Monfils, just beat Alcaraz. He's also in an interesting draw. So Mukova made the semis again. Absolutely amazing pick. I couldn't have picked a better player. She was the only player that actually made it that far as the unseated player. So she was the best unseated player. So I'll claim that all day. Unfortunately, Moffis lost in the second round of Rude. I thought maybe he'd upset Rude in that one. There was a bit of a 50-50, but he just couldn't get through that match, and that's really what stopped him. All right, top 10 upsets. And this is a tough one because, uh, I mean, look, you can go with the obvious picks, but then I feel like we might get some random upsets as well. I'm going to go with Pellini. Mm. I'm going to go with Casper Root because Monfils is there. I think Monfils might be able to beat him in the second round. Mm. So I wasn't too far off with Paolini. She was in the fourth round, but first round was very tough. Could have gone either way. Second round, she got a little bit lucky with Pliskova getting injured, so he, she avoided that. Root, he beats Monfils. He goes to the fourth round. Again, I mean, who would have picked Djokovic or even Alcaraz? I mean, that was never going to happen. All right, so the Dark Horses, the players sort of outside the top... I guess 10 that I think might do well, the lower seeds. I'm going to go with Pedosa, maybe no brainer. And Lehechka, he had such a great comeback in Cincy last week. Mm. So Pedosa did make the quarterfinals and lost to Navarro in the end, which probably should have won that match or could have won that match, made the semis. I'm still going to claim that one. Lehechka, unfortunately, didn't get through that Rublev match. I thought he was going to beat Rublev, maybe make it to the quarterfinals. He had a, an open draw. I mean, Rublev and Dimitrov were the guys that got out of it. Okay, so Alcaraz versus Medvedev. Last year they played, and Medvedev got the win to make the final. I have to back Alcaraz, even though he's got a worse draw. Mm. All right, so this was a bad one. I should have just picked Medvedev again. I mean, I, even though he had a bad draw, Alcaraz, I still went with him. I don't know why. I didn't think he'd lose to the second round of Van Zandtrup. He had a tough draw if he had made that through that match, but Medvedev made the quarters. He lost to Sinner. I don't know what I thought. Maybe I thought Alcaraz was going to make the semis. I don't know. I don't know. All right, heading over to the semifinals now. You, I reckon the top half of the draw, we're going to get Sviantek versus Kalinskaya. I reckon Kalinskaya, if she's healthy, I mean, we know she can beat anybody. And down the bottom half, I'm going to go with Sabalenka Goff. Last year's final. Mm. 
On the men's side, I think it's Sinner Alcaraz in the top half. Even though Alcaraz's draw is so, so bad and really, really tough. And down the bottom half, I'm going to go with Djokovic versus Verev. <laughs> All right, so on the women's side, I got Sabalenka right. I got the rest of them wrong. Callan Sky just didn't get over that, that bad call at the start of that Haddad Maya match. It costed the match. I didn't think that Pagula could beat Sviantek. I thought Sviantek would probably get that win. Uh, Goff lost to Navarro. Navarro took her spot in that semifinal. So wasn't far off with those semifinal picks, but, you know, obviously only got the one right. On the men's side, I mean, Djokovic and Elkris. Again, who would have thought they would lose in the first rounds? Uh, not me. You know, Sinner, I obviously thought he would get far. Uh, I didn't think the Americans would do as well as they did, and I, no way anyone would have picked Draper. Uh, Zverev obviously lost to Fritz in the corners. It was a close one there. Maybe, you know, had that gone the other way, it would have looked better, but yeah, not the greatest semifinal picks, but it was such a random event. And who's going to win this tournament? Who is going to win the US Open? On the women's side, I'm going to go with Sabalenka. I mean, it's probably been, been obvious. On the men's side, I'm going to go with Yannick Sinner. So I did it! I picked both the champions! It never happens. I usually maybe pick one or the other, but never both on the same tournament. This is a historic event. Unfortunately, it only is worth one point each. But maybe I should make it worth 20 points each. There it is. Sina Sabalenka doing me proud, and I finally got those predictions right in the last prediction video of the year. So there it is. That is the predictions for the US Open. We'll do this again next year. Let me know down the comments below. What do you want to see differently in these prediction videos? Do you want me to change them up? There it is. US Open predictions. Sina Sabalenka finally got them right.